I look like a mess again. It's Monday. It's time for Totally Book Sessed. And I am not late. I just got back from open house. Uh, it's pretty much where your parents go meet their teachers. Super awkward time. I don't have to go necessarily, but um, I don't want my parents to get lost or anything while they're at my school because I have a really big school. So I always go with them just to be nice. Okay, so this week we're doing covers that just tipped over. No, we're just doing covers. Um, you know, covers we love, covers we hate, types of cover pet peeves that we might have, just covers. So I'm going to go over some covers and then I might just like ramble off into a rant. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. First, we have the thing that you guys are probably going to be like, I knew she was going to talk about this. But, covers with people holding hands for kissing why why just i don't know i don't know why i don't know why you want to do this i don't know why you want me to carry this around i don't want to carry it around i forgot one but you guys already know about that one but i just don't want to carry them around ever um not my thing i do not want to be seen with this and then people are gonna be like what are you reading and i'm gonna be like oh it's this new young adult book and they're gonna be like oh so that's what young adult is and i'm gonna be like I want to hit you with this. So, no, don't like kissy, touchy covers at all. Next, I don't like these covers. Um, again, like, nothing against these books, because most of the books, especially in the kissy pile, love them so much. Actually, all of these I love a lot. But this, this looks so cheesy. So cheesy. Look at her, just chilling behind the tree. What are you doing there? You do not look in a comfortable position. I just don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. So, and I don't like the font or anything. This cover, I do not like. I can't really say a specific reason why I do not like it. Maybe it's because she's not, like, where she's supposed to be. I don't know. I'm really, like, nitpicky. When it comes to covers, like, I don't let it affect what I buy. But this feels really nice on the other hand. So, but yeah, I just don't like this cover. She does not look happy to be where she is, which I guess is the point. But you should look a little bit more happy, Missy. Alright. Next we have the covers that I do like. And good thing this is an equally sized pile. First we have um, Where She Went by Gil Foreman. Love this cover. It has this, I'm really, really into like the texture of books because I'm a freak. But I really like how this is reflective. It's like made from this like special paper this special paper and it's really nice and it's just really reflective and I like that. I like it a lot more than the first cover where she just looked like a creepy dead girl. Also Wildfire just because it's felty. This one's felty too. I love books that feel like felt. Love them so much. If you want to charm me with a cover, make it feel like felt. And Simon & Schuster makes most of their covers feel like felt so maybe that's why I own so many Simon & Schuster books. Psychological thing. The next one is Texas Gothic. I love a lot of people hate, like, half-face covers. Again, love half-face covers. Um, I just really like this cover. I love the font. I love, I have like, this thing for red hair. I've always wanted red hair. But, like, dark red hair, not orange hair. And just, like, her eye is really, really pigmented in color. I sound like a weirdo. It's very, very colorful. So I like that. The next, which um is Across the Universe by Beth Rivers. And what I love, which, if you don't know, is probably strange but it's a reversible cover so you have like the pretty pink cover and then you have this like schematic blue cover and it's pretty much just made to like gender equalize the books so if you're a girl you can put the pretty little cover and if you're a boy and you're reading it and you don't want to get embarrassed by having this glittery almost kissing cover you can go ahead and turn it around and have this cool schematic and this works so I'm going to tell you a little story. I was in school, and I was reading this, and I had this cover on. And the boys in my group are all readers because I converted them, but they were not interested at all. So I kind of did a little study, turned it around, started reading it again, and they were like, whoa, what's that? Can I borrow it? So this works. And I really, really like that the covers are reversible, school, and both covers are absolutely amazing. Next would be books like Eve of Fire and Tempestuous. I really like dark colors. Like grays and dark blues and stuff like that with a bright title. I really like that. That's pretty. So I love these two covers. Um, next are covers that are white. 
and don't really have a lot of detail. I forgot what I said. Okay, here are the three. Like Cross by Ellie Crombie. All these things I've done by Gabrielle Devin and Possession by Elena Johnson. I just love curves that are plain and simple and you just have something in the middle to make it pop and make it beautiful. A lot of people don't like plain white covers, but I, for some reason, adore them. Like, my arcs that are plain white covers, I will keep them forever because I love them. And then the last two books are just gorgeous covers I need to mention. I mean, So Beautiful is one. Um, I love that this has so much to do with what the book is about. Um, if you don't know what this is about, it's about a girl who is one of the forgotten, and pretty much she helps people do good deeds, but the more that she does it, the more that the people that she loves starts to forget her, and the more her body starts to fade away into this gold dust. So I really like how it's her head, and then slowly she starts to fade out into gold dust. So, love this book, by the way. It's a very good book, and this is a good box to tip over again. And it just tipped over. Yeah, sorry about that. Last book is Hourglass because I just love this cover so much. Um, if you didn't notice, because I didn't notice at first, she's walking on the wall, and then this is the floor. I used to think that she was just walking, and that was the door, but I was wrong. So yeah, it's super cool. Um, it's also very like reflective of what the book is about. Um, it's about time travel, and the time flips kind of appear on the wall, and then they go into the wall. So. Makes sense. Um, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry, this video is kind of short and just not like my usual. Oh, yeah, what's up? But I'm tired. I am tired, and it's 9.30, and I have homework to do. And, uh. But yeah, I promise to do better. Bye, see you guys next week, and Jamie, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, by the way, guys, um, unfortunately, Farah, if you didn't see the bulletin that I put up on Friday, had to leave us due to some personal reasons and some awesome stuff that is going on with her. So she didn't have any more time to contribute to the project. So, um, I'm kind of in the works of getting a new Friday. But I wanted to know if you guys just wanted me to leave Friday blank. Or if maybe you wanted me or some of the other girls to post a video on Friday. Because I'm not sure if we'll have a person by Friday. But, I don't know. If, what do you guys want to do? Do you want me to do a video on Friday? Just whatever you want. I promise to be more exciting if I do a video on Friday. And it'll be topicless. So I'll probably be like crazy or something. I promise. Okay. Bye, bye, bye.